Hey everybody, Luke here, and today I just wanted to real briefly go through the three different balance systems you have in your body that uh, kind of account for your balance. And these are the three systems that you're kind of looking to diagnose when you run into something like vertigo. So I did some other stuff on vertigo recently, uh, did a blog post and a video, so if you missed that, go ahead and catch up on that first. But it's good to kind of understand these three systems before you're trying to go in and figure out what's causing any of your issues with balance or vertigo. And understanding these three systems can kind of tell you, you know, which one of the systems is not working correctly. Could be two or could be all three of them. But oftentimes it is that vestibular system, especially if you're dealing with vertigo. So that's what kind of prompted this video. So the first system you have for balance is going to be your vision. So that's your first one here. We'll jot it down. Vision. Kind of an obvious one. I mean, you're, you're always using your eyes for, I guess I should go off the side here, maybe this way. You're always using your eyes for uh, visual feedback. So um, as you're walking, moving around, uh, your eyes are giving you constant feedback in terms of your environment, different things as they're moving. So if you move your head to the side, for instance, everything in your environment moves. And it's really quick feedback to your brain tells you what's going on. So that's your first major balance system. A lot of folks are very visually reliant too. So if you have a hard time like walking at night, um, usually an older person, you know, primarily, but it could be anyone. So if you have a hard time walking at night or when the lights are real low or into a dark room, it's because your vision is no longer really giving you much input and you're relying on the other two systems. So second system then will be your sensation. Draw this down too. So if you think about the sensation in your feet, um, you're always getting sensation in terms of just touch and feel, but you're also getting pressure. So if you stand on your foot right now, pick one foot or two feet, as you shift your weight side to side, you'll feel the pressure change on your foot. Now if you have issues with sensation, obviously this isn't going to work as well for you. Things like neuropathy can come into play, and so you're, you're kind of trying to rely on the other systems more. But um, typically, yeah, so if you're shifting around, that sensation is, is giving you accurate input. When you put someone like a squishy surface, uneven surface like a lumpy grass or you know squishy gravel, pea gravel, then the sensation isn't as accurate anymore because it's shifting around on you. So then you have to use the other two systems again. Um, so the third system then is your inner ear. So we talked about this with vertigo, how that can get out of whack and cause the sensation of spinning. So we call that your vestibular system. Let's just call it inner ear for now. So your inner ear we talked about in another video the different canals in your ear, some other different organs in your ear that basically tell you about the position of your head in relationship to gravity. So when you turn your head side to side, up and down, when you turn it here, there's also some other organs inside your inner ear that tell you for like a prolonged position. So if you're hanging your head here for a while, those continue to give your, your brain input. So those are your three main balance systems. Other things that contribute to loss of balance could be things like weakness, loss of motion and joints, things like that. But when we just purely think of balance, we think of these three systems. Now, when all three of them are working in harmony, so you've got, again, your vision, sensation, and uh, vestibular inner ear, when they're all working in harmony and they all agree, you've got pretty good balance. Um, but when one of them gets out of whack, you, you're forced to use the other two more primarily. And so we see this a lot with people with the, with the vertigo and the vestibular injuries, whether it could be um, just not functioning well. We've got a gal right now I'm working with who she had some issues with ringing in her ears. So they actually went in and they deadened part of her inner ear because it's right there with your hearing sensation as well. Um, so kind of a Rob Peter to pay Paul type of a situation. But so with her, she's got some function of her inner ear. What we do with physical therapy then is really try to um, kind of exercise and buff up the vestibular system. So what we do then to do that is we say, okay, if we want your vestibular system to work really hard in a certain exercise, what we're going to do is we're going to change the vision or we're going to change the sensation or both. So an easy example of how we would change the vision is say we're doing a balance exercise, uh, say standing on one leg, um, if you can do that. Um, just close your eyes and it's harder, right? or you're doing the same exercise and we're going to leave vision alone and put you on a squishy like foam surface. So now when you're on a foam surface, you're using the other two systems more preferentially. When you get to the point where you're doing pretty well with those, you can take another step in advance and say, well now we're going to put you on a squishy surface so we kind of downgrade the sensation and we're going to have you close your eyes so you're no more vision. Now you have to really work on your vestibular system, your inner ear. So that's how we train and that's how we kind of get people better when they just have a lower functioning vestibular system like that. So I hope this just puts it in context for you. You know, when you're trying to work on your balance, 
it's not just as easy as, as strength and conditioning, although that is often a big component. You know, if you have really weak muscles and you just don't feel stable because of that, that's definitely a consideration that we would, you know, take uh, into play with your treatments and stuff. But you've got to think of all three of these systems, and hopefully that helps you kind of put things together and you can understand, you know, if you're working with a therapist and they're putting together all these different balance exercises, why you're isolating some of those systems by closing your eyes changing the surface you're standing on, things like that. So um, as usual, if you have questions on balance or inner ear or vertigo or any of that stuff, please just let me know. You can always email me or call me here at the clinic. I'm happy to answer those. I hope you're doing well. Talk to you soon. Thanks.